all right so I'm back from the crash and I redid the bone setup so that's my toe that's the ankle wonder if this toe should be here aligned here okay this is the ankle joint this is the knee joint the hip joint okay make sure that in the front view everything is aligned properly as well here it looks off I did change the width of this here so maybe 9 and 9 uh, when I recreated this I made a bigger triangle so my dimensions doesn't really matter you may have totally different dimensions just make sure that the width of the bones is less than the width of the leg okay and that's good enough and what I wanted to do uh, is add a knee node and uh, what I would like to suggest to you that you start saving your work because uh, and after you create anything don't undo uh, after you add a bone don't undo it delete the bone you can always delete the bones but don't undo it because if you undo it crash crashes I tried two three times and it crashed two three times so what we are going to do is select this bone the, the second leg and click on use up node and this up node will uh, help you position the knees okay so this is one of the handles for the knees to work okay so if you look here the knees bend with this handle okay so you needed well, this handle you could have done it later on but I thought I'll add the handle and then both the handles are in the same place so I wanted to add the handle and then this should be little in the center okay so we'll select this and click on add a leg and now don't undo the work right so let us save this work here so we got our two feet and then let us see if the second foot is looking right yeah everything looks right now what we need is some bone on the top so we will add a spine okay and once you add the spine select the spine bone and the bone says five you only need one okay just need one bone it has to go all the way till the top and that should be good enough size maybe slight don't make it too big otherwise it starts influencing the legs below so maybe 90 here it doesn't really matter whether it is exact size or not as long as it covers the character it's good enough all right and that concludes our rigging part we are all we are done with the rigging a uh, few more things you can do is you can make this big so it's easy to easy to see and select because this is what you're going to select I think this should be 20 only width is good 40 length we'll hide everything else and these two will be selected only for uh, for selection and movement okay now what we're going to do is once the rig is ready let us save it again you should save this file as save as and this was zuby rig we will say zuby skin and i'll name it video okay so save it as zuby skin so you have a character uh, file you have a character rig file you have a character skin file so if any time anything goes back bad you can always open the other file and start working from there you file your file may get corrupt and you may lose all your work it may never open so better to have multiple versions of your file 
So I'm going to go and unfreeze all and select this character and uh, uh, after symmetry I will add skin modifier okay so we will add a skin modifier and we'll put mesh smooth on top of it so that once the skinning is done then the the vertices will evenly skin after that when the skin mesh smooth is taking will take over okay so we add a skin modifier and once you add the skin modifier we have an envelope option and that same envelope option is here we will look at that later on in the skin modifier you are supposed to add all the bones so you click on add and then you need to select your uh, this one is not necessary this one is not necessary this one is not necessary so you select this cat pelvis and if you go to select make sure that select children is selected and then when you select it all the bones will be added here okay so leg one we need leg two we need ankle digit vector node we don't need so we'll remove it pelvis we don't need pelvis three and four okay leg one leg two ankle digit up vector node we don't need and then the spine we need so we only need the bones that are going to move okay so if you go to wireframe so this bone is going to move the bone on top is the spine uh, three and four that is not going to move this one spine bone here that is not going to move that is not going to make the, any of these vertices what happens when you are rigging is uh, the bone in that area will affect the vertices around it okay all these bones we are creating so that the vertices around it will move so we will move the bone and the vertices around the bones will move same like our body our bones move and then the skin around and the muscles around it move as well and then there are bone joints <coughs> so uh, this is one object that's going to influence the vertices this is one object that will influence the vertex this is one these two are handles they're not going to influence the vertices these are not something that's going to influence the vertex this is not something that's going to influence the vertex so only the bones that are going to influence the vertex will be added all right so once that is done okay save the file we'll go to default shading unfreeze all ah, okay this we are doing skin modifier that's why all right so uh, now we are going to look at what happens if you lift the leg the skin is moving a little bit see the leg is doing fine then we will look at this okay when you rotate you will see if the rotation is right okay, you can see that the top part is moving properly but the influence is moving to the legs so we need to fix these things what we will do is we will select this go to the motion panel we'll add a layer turn this on go to frame number 10 auto key on and select this leg and move it up now when the leg is moved up we should get good motion okay and then we will go to 20 then we'll copy this back to its original position we'll select this and maybe rotate it like this this will happen from 10 to so we will first fix this then we will see that when this happens 
it moves nicely as well. auto key off all right so these are the two animations and then we need to i will also show you if this is smooth how the animation looks okay so this is the band and this is the band when the smooth is on okay so now what we will do is we will go to the front view and we will start skinning the character from top going all the way to the bottom. So you click on the envelope here in the modify panel. We are in the modify panel. You turn on vertices so you can select these vertices and we are going to um, what is that? We are going to uh, look at weights of all the vertices. Okay. You can see that there is an influence of that bone here and you can see that that bone is influencing the legs all the way down. Okay, so if you make this small, you can see that it is also losing the influence for this part where it should be there actually. You can see how the influence is getting less. So for example, if I stop here and then move the leg you can see the leg is doing much better now than before okay but it lost the influence in the these vertex and that influence it has to go one a vertex has to have an influence of one so it has to go from one bone to other bone but it cannot disappear so because the influence went from the spine it went to the leg so when the leg moves that vertex moves okay so we got to fix that area so we'll go to the front view select this go to modify panel envelopes vertex select the top four, four vertices and we will keep going down look for weight table okay so click on weight table i will be working on weight table only so we'll click on weight table and let us understand weight table now so the weight table will have all the vertices listed on the left so these are all the vertices in the scene and these are all the bones in the scene okay so you can imagine a skinning is a very long process but it is a one-time process once the skinning is done then you can just animate the character and there are special uh, positions in the industries where a person is only responsible for rigging and skinning. So if you are in the technical field, maybe you will enjoy this. So what we are going to do is instead of all vertices, here we are going to select selected vertices only. So our work becomes less. And then when you select the bone of influence. So this is the bone that we are going to work with. And these are the vertices. Now, where is the bone? If you drag this slider, the selected bone is highlighted. Okay. And then the selected vertices have all, these are the selected vertices and they have a weight of one. So this bone is affecting these vertices 100%. And that is exactly what we want. Now we'll go one level down and we will select these. Now this bone should affect these vertices 100% as well. But as you can see, the left leg, left one and then the right leg is affecting these vertices differently. So you have to go and type here one by one, like this is going to become one, this is going to become one. But if you have too many bones, it may take a long time so if you go to edit select all you can just select one and the whole thing becomes one and once select select none once these become one 
you will see that when it was 1 here and now they have become 0 okay and in the viewport they become red so we can always go back and test our animation okay so now you can see that the left is working fine and then the spine is working fine too okay so it is much better now slowly we will go down and fix all these things so your animal your character will be ready so i'll save this work and in the next class we will continue